Hello and welcome to FMBP Dota's cast of the Raid Call D2L Season 2. We got Nadis Vincere going up against 3D Max in the best of three series. I'm Joey and with me is Cali. Hey guys. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for this game. We're seeing the new Navi roster right now. So if you guys haven't checked it out on the side there, we got uh, Kuroki playing here and Funic as well, who's kind of got a crazy name. Change the name around it. Phonique. It's like French or something. But so they're gonna be replacing Light of Heaven and Arzart, which uh, I was kind of wondering about the the roster change when I heard that Funic was gonna be in because I was wondering what roles they would be taking. But now it kind of makes sense with Kuroki joining the team. Yeah, I think uh, Mel hinted on them getting haircuts, so they may have new dues as well, and that could just be as strong as the new lineup. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, it's true. Um, yeah, because Kuroki has been playing um, the pretty much hard support role recently, so uh, he could he, he could take that or the four role as well um, with Puppy taking the five. So it kind of makes sense um, now that Light of Heaven is also gone. So I guess Funic will be taking the off lane. You think? Yeah, I think so. Uh, but we'll just wait and see. Let's go over some picks and bans real quick. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, let's do that. Because we did jump in about. Yeah, you know, they started late. So what are we gonna do? You know? <laughs> Traditional FMVP fashion. Yeah. All right. So 3D Max uh, picking up Darkseer, Shadow Demon, and TA. I guess Darkseer off lane. Shadow Demon is gonna be supporting yeah. TA in the mid lane. They banned out Bat Nix. If you don't have first pick, which I'm assuming they didn't. Yeah, because they got the last ban here. Pretty much have to ban Bat and Nyx, um, unless you want to lose. That's not completely true, but they're yeah, very this... annoying mid-heroes and have a great presence throughout the whole game. Exactly, yeah. Two of the strongest uh, solo lane heroes, as well as just like ganking heroes with that lasso, with that uh, vendetta. It's uh, They can pretty much catch you off guard and, and just take you out that way. I think uh, 3D Max wanted to get the TA. I think they really felt like that was an important pick, and so they had to take the Darks here pretty much first pick and then uh, picking them up in the third pick there so kind of taking out a lot of counters to TA here with the um, with the Batrider being banned out as well as the Darkseer and then later banning out the Queen of Pain so just, uh, I think they really wanted the Templar Assassin maybe it's part of their uh, core strategy here yeah using some picks and bans there to make sure TA will work and uh, be able to have a snowballing game we've seen uh, I don't remember which game we cast it was oh my phone is going nuts all right take it away Callie my ringtone's uh, awesome okay. Yeah, <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't know what Joe was saying, but Navi, banning it with Wisp and Magnus. Wisp, pretty much an auto-ban for Navi unless they're going to play him, because from what I've heard and from what I've seen, Wisp uh, just definitely just uh, decimates Navi, um, at least recently. Maybe with this new lineup, they'll have some better defenses, but uh, taking a Wisp out and taking another Magnus, always a pretty good choice here. Um, and then the second ban phase, taking out Queen of Pain, Windrunner and Brewmaster, like I mentioned with the Queen of Pain, uh, decent hero to go against the Templar Assassin, so that could have been their train of thought. Uh, Dendi plays an amazing Queen of Pain, as we've all seen, so probably would have expected some uh, Poison Sting fakeouts on the Templar Assassin, who would probably try to meld those, so maybe uh, maybe they just didn't want to have to deal with that Queen of Pain. Windrunner, strong offlaner, strong one-on-one uh, -on -one offlane hero as well uh, to go against the Darkseer if they feel like offensive tri-laning, maybe we'll be seeing that, so uh, they wanted to take that out. Uh, the Brewmaster, also a pretty good mid-hero as well, and uh, Dendi has been playing Brewmaster a lot lately, so taken out there, that could be some of the reasoning. Um, usually Joey just jumps in and is probably going to scare the, the hell out of me, but uh, Phantom Lancer, Leshrac, and Chen being banned out for Navi, so taken out. Strong Phantom Lancer with that Agile growth. We've all seen how uh, how strong that is. Uh, if you pair it with a strong mid uh, mid game hero like the Templar Assassin, oh, we're going too fast. Mid game hero like the Templar Assassin, uh, you can really get tons and tons of time to farm uh, with that with that Phantom Lancer and just decimate late game. So uh, taking that out, Chen, uh, good ban all around, I guess. If you want to, uh, if you don't want to get pushed against early, so that's probably the reason. I forget what the last ban I just said. Oh, Lash, yeah. Um, not really sure why they banned out Lash. Uh, he's no, he's not really good against Life Stealer. He the edict does go through uh, Magic Community because it's part physical. But uh, other than that, um, I don't know why they banned it out. Pretty good counter to TA or, or whatnot, but not really like a hard counter. So just taking him out is Navi. And then Navi, or sorry, yeah, Navi had the pick after that. They picked up Storm Spirit. Who, let's see, yeah, it's being played by Dendi, so maybe we'll see a mid-Storm Spirit, which is pretty awesome to see. 
And, um, and then I think uh, 3D Max picked up Lena, so strong support. Really great to go with that uh, Shadow Demon. Maybe that's why they bend out Lesh, uh, did not be to, to not get uh, that combo going with the Shadow Demon as well. But 3D Max is taking the Lena anyway, so it's kind of the same thing. I feel like that's even a, strong, a little bit stronger with the uh, with more burst, especially at level six. And then the last pick for uh, for Navi was the Lone Druid, who's going to be played by uh, by Funix. So I hear that he's uh, he's going to be I don't know, maybe he'll be taking a mid. I don't know. He's mid right now. He's he's only picked up Tangos and uh, Ring Protection. Back. Okay, back. Yeah, I was just going over the last pick of Lone Druid for Navi. So kind of covered it all. Oh, yeah, actually, and then we had a SA being picked yeah, up. Yeah, it's picked up. I was like, max. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Sorry, I was on the on the phone for on? a job possibility. Ooh, hopefully. Hopefully get that. So I can buy that stream. new computer and continue casting Dota full-time. <laughs> quit that yep. job. But, um... Yeah, so we're going to be seeing a super strong uh, trial lane if, if that's what they're going to be doing with that... With that Ricky Shadow Demon Lena combo, <laughs> put the put them under with the disruptions. You see the smoke, and then pretty much the easiest stun of the life for uh, for the Lena. Yeah, I don't. I'm getting my FPS is a little low for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but I guess I'll deal with it. Maybe I think like Windows Explorer crashed like right before I started recording. Hmm. That's, uh, oh well. Yeah, hopefully it's fine. I don't know. AC crashed as well, so. Yeah. Pros have that in common. Sometimes your computer just crashes. Uh, I like the Ricky pickup. I've seen a team has been doing it with, uh, they pick up Wisp and Ricky, so Ricky can go behind and they can set up that tether stun perfectly, but no Wisp in this game. I feel like I should know what team has been doing yeah. that. Yeah, actually, Navi banned out Wisp, so... I maybe it's 3D maybe Max that's been doing it then. Yeah, maybe. Uh, this is pretty cool. I, don't, I like this lineup from 3D Max. What I was saying in the in the draft is that they might offensive try lane and then put the Darkseer in the safe lane uh, solo, because they banned out Windrunner, which is pretty good, uh, pretty good to go against the Darkseer, so maybe that's why, but I don't know. Maybe they'll just safe lane anyway. camera feels so fast. I don't know. I'm like feeling weirded out right now. Did you slow it down at all? Or yeah, the it's speed? on the slowest speed, but it's like freaking one. It's got to go fast, man. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Also, um, who's playing what for Navi? I, I didn't get to see. We got <clears throat> Dendi on the usual Storm Spirit. I'm assuming Havost here on Eggs. Puppy on Bane. So that means Kurakai on the Co and Funic on Funic. Dara leaked. <laughs> yeah, um, playing that laundry. Yeah, so I guess pretty much what you would expect out of this uh, this player composition, I guess. Puppies are probably gonna be taking five. Kuroki with the four on the keeper late, maybe farm up a mech or something like that. Yeah, and here we got Funic going mid lane uh, on the lone druid, which isn't that uncommon. I guess it's fallen off in the professional scene. A bit, I don't know, just because he's a great off laner with the bear pools, and he's a great one on one laner in most cases. Yeah, well, it is like it was pretty much one of the only uh, TA counters left in the in the pool. I yeah. feel, and he definitely is a TA counter, especially with that orb of venom. I think uh, we'll do pretty well at taking off those refraction charges. You just set the bear on, and then uh, the refract will be off eventually. Uh, if you can micro him back just away from tower range, then you can pretty much keep the TA TA off the lane indefinitely. Yeah, once you hit level 6, uh, or when, level 5, is that when the bear gets entangled? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going to be hard for TA to stick around. Um, she'll have to like meld to just get XP, because those entangles, like that plus 60 damage, and then the orb of venom, it's going to hurt. And she's pretty squishy, so if that refraction's off. Yeah, for sure, for sure, I don't know. It's going to be uh, pretty cool to see who wins that lane. Maybe, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think Dendi just wanted to play Storm Spirit, to be honest. I, I don't know. They're just putting him bottom. That sounds sounds like Dendi to me. Uh, they've been picking him up a lot recently. I mean, he is a really good hero. Like, that overload uh, damage is insane. Especially with, like, the uh, game kind of going into, like, more ganking. Well, I mean, it's been ganking, I guess, for a long time now. But, uh, like, he fell off the scene a bit when it, like, it was just, like, a farming game. 
because uh, and I just really wasn't about Storm Spirit uh, getting up his farm. He's just kind of like a counter ganking hero, and you can like turn turn like two v twos into like a three v two for your team pretty easily just by TPing in and then uh, and then uh, you know using his ultimate to get close. Yeah, speaking of uh, transitioning back into a ganking oriented playstyle, we've got Lena here for three D Max uh, Buller. He's got that smoke up right away for uh, Hyak and Bueller to go get a gank, a disrupt into a light strike array. It's going to be sick, and they're, they're posed up here on the dire side. So I don't know if they're going to try to maybe go around through the ancients or through the top, the top path to mid to try to get a quick gank. I don't, I don't know. Well, I really want to see how 3D Max is going to run this lane because if they offensive try lane right now, then Dendy's. I think Dendy will get pretty much nothing. I don't know. Looks like they're going mid though. Yeah, yeah, we got a nightmare and a disrupt. The bear's there. He can't attack. Noya's uh, doesn't get the room. Both picks up invis. the invis room, so now he's safe to scout it out. And they see. Well, I mean, obviously, there's the defensive yeah. trial lane top for three. Um, we should introduce them though. Uh, 3D Max at least. Oh, did, uh, yeah. I can take it. Yeah, uh, Ace is going to be playing that uh, Darks here. Looks like he's rotating bottom to go against Storm Spirit. We got Hayak on the. Um, on the Shadow Demon there, in the mid we got Hester Joe Rotten uh, taking that TA, going for Fast Bottle. We've got Buller on the Lina, like you said, with that smoke. Uh, so look for that early gank. And we got Noah on the Ricky uh, with the Stout Shield. He's going to be doing alright against the uh, against the Life Stealer, I feel. Yeah, I think he'll do fine against Life Stealer. Uh, he is a bit on the squishy side, but he can kind of, I mean, he can't purge open wounds, but he can kind of get away with it as long as the supports are spread out. He can just Blink Striker away. And Avost isn't going to be able to get those last hit, last hits in that he needs. Uh, or also, you can just defensive disrupt, um, disrupt Ricky while the open wounds wears off. It's really good in that scenario. Yeah, I'm interest. I'm really interested to see how this bottom lane works out. Because uh, I just played a game with an Invoker in a safe lane against a Dark Seer, and it, I felt like it was really hard. So, because he just ran at me, and like I, I couldn't really do anything. Um, go in that exhort build at least to help out, but uh, Dendi me with the Storm Spirit. Oh, oh geez, sorry. Hitting first blood <laughs> in the top lane with an Illuminate charge uh, as killing I Buller. Guess they they don't even have a warrior really, up there. so I'm, I'm not sure how they were able to get that wave off. Um, I, yeah, I think Dendi will have a bit oh, of an advantage. Are you transmitting? Too. Can you not hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I think Dendi will have a bit of an advantage just because he's got static remnant and overload damage. But once Ion Shell gets up to like three or four, uh, he's just gonna be able to run at Dendi. Like Dendi's not gonna be able to do anything, or like the Ion Shell damage will be higher than the burst that Dendi will put out with his two abilities. But uh, yeah. keep an eye on the top lane here because it looks like that's where all the action will be happening. Uh, Coddle tends to bring some some quick burst action to the field as we didn't just see. <laughs> yeah. Healer going down. He's running back to lane now. He's pulling here at the the easy pull camp for the dire side. Just a single pull, uh, because I guess they realize they can push the lane against Coddle, because he'll probably just wave it down. Yeah, actually, Funic having a really good time against uh, oh, Hester Joe. Here. Yeah, I would say, he's getting really low. Orb of Venom yep, doing that so. Orb of Venom is out the just last working out. Uh, Ten last hits right now for the Lone Druid, Funic, and four for Hester Joe. They're doing pretty well. And Hes Hester Joe going to pick up a haste, though, so I think he'll be fine for a little bit longer. Yeah, did he have his bottle already? Yeah, so he's got his bottle charges. Uh, so he's going around the backside of Hesajo, it looks like. Could be... I mean, Bear doesn't have Entangle, and Funic's pretty squishy right now. There's a couple hits, you can dive a little bit, but no, Orb of Venom is going to be able to take off that Refractor. Check out top. Yeah, Hesajo... Oh, Defensive Disrupt. Oh. Defensive Disrupt. On no, Noya, Noya, maybe going to go down, doesn't have Invis. Oh, but there's that Blink Strike I was talking about, but Kurokai does not care. Horses... Kurokai with another fat wave, though. Yeah, big Illuminate the there to take off Noya. So Noya and Bueller have died. I think in this your sound might be cutting out like a little bit. I'm pretty just... sure my computer is dying right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll try to finish your sentences. Oh, look at that. I can't really restart because then nothing will be recorded. Here comes a disrupt cloud yeah, from Noya onto Puppy. Puppy silenced up still. Maybe gonna go down. Big wand charge. Big brain sap. Noya maybe gonna die again. Havos with that last hit. So that's three and a kill went some. I think Hestajo took out. Funic in the mid lane. Yep. And They're another still going kill gonna though. go up top. Yak goes down. Both picking up a double kill. This aggressive tri lane, really working out. Yeah. 
Basically. When you uh, when you look at it, I guess 3D Max's lineup is kind of a, like more defensive, at least for now. Whereas Navi can afford to get a little more aggressive with that uh, Nightmare into the Illuminate combo that we've been seeing so much of. Especially with that uh, Open Wounds coming in and then the, the right clicks from, from Hobost on that life, so just doing work. But yeah, all that while, I uh, did see Hester Joe pick up a kill on, on Funnyk. I'm just going to call him Funnyk. Yeah, in the middle of the yeah, with that haste rune and the refract, oh, he can pretty much kill him. Yeah, Mavon landed a bit of trouble, oh, dodges the light strike away from Bueller. Bueller, though, with the dragon slave doing a lot of damage. The right clicks and the creep gonna be enough. Dendi goes down, but here comes Puppy. Puppy with the brain sap onto Bueller. Bueller goes down. Now it's just Ace and Puppy. What's he gonna do? Just gonna put that sleep. He's out of mana. He's got three magic stick charges, but he's just gonna run away. Uh, Ace not gonna be any more aggressive on the darks here. Uh, respawn times aren't long. Dendi will be back in the bot lane shortly. And Ace making the right call there to back off. And let's check out the mid lane. The Funic, Chankle Boot, Bear Rockin', Orb of Venom still. And we got Templar Assassin with a uh, and You're cut now, man. I'm not sure. <laughs> Can't really hear you. If maybe other people can, but. Hello? It, no? might, yes. it should probably all go through on the recording. Uh, maybe message me on Steam? I hear no sound, dude. I'm not sure, though. Maybe YouTube can hear you. Maybe it's my problem. Um, yeah, I'll message you on Steam, I guess, because I don't want to just be talking over you if, if you can be heard.